Hello everybody and welcome back to Manor Lords where we are currently in January and of course we're a little concerned about the field situation out over here but we have brought in some extra oxen and hopefully this next year will go a little bit better on that front. That will be absolutely great. Now we see that we have 436 gold and we need 361 for a royal tax. What that of course means is that we can go into our retinue here and we can recruit a man at arms. Just one. Actually, no, we can afford two, can't we? 361? No, we can't. We can only afford one man at arms. Okay. That is fine. We'll get our we'll get our one man at arms there. We've got a ways to go on that. So we definitely want to think about maybe raising our taxes a little higher. But honestly, I feel like we're in a reasonable position as far as our income goes. So that is all okay. Now, our manor here is definitely a thing. We do not have a manor down over here. I do think getting this trading post operational is a bigger deal. We want to have some form of income over here after all, right? So that'll be fine. Now, we don't have much for backyards for artisans over here, but we do also need to get a church built. So getting a church built here is a reasonably high priority to be able to get to a level two, right? Do we want to build the church here or like here? I'm thinking up over here makes a little bit more sense. So we're going to put that in for now, and that'll get built eventually. Do we have anyone in these mining pits at this moment? The answer is yes in this one and in the clay furnace. We have someone in the stone cutter camp, but we do not have someone in the mining pit. We do have someone in the, in the bloomery. So that is noted. Okay. So we should put a family in here, but we need to have additional families move in. That is fine. We also, I did remember, by the way, that we took the family out of the Woodcutter's Lodge. That's going to be pretty important. That is understood. So construction is happening over here. That'll be fine. We're looking for additional families here. Mostly, we don't really have jobs for them at this moment. We might build another farmhouse. But for the time being, mostly these are intended to go into our militias. So recruits are missing in all of these locations. Equipment is still missing for our polearm militia. And I'm still wondering... Okay, storage is full up over here. Indeed it is. We need to do, like, exporting out over here, right? And we've got four people in our trading post right now. What do we have for our stable space? Okay, we might want to consider building another stable here. So for now, we would build a hitching post, and that could go here, actually. That seems good. So we'll just build that right there. We have four free families here. And we're building a bunch of burgages up here. So I think the idea was to expand out our farmhouse here, but didn't we get these? These are all fallow here. Didn't we get this fully planted? We did. So, what were these families for again? I have forgotten. That's perfect. I mean, we could definitely have one be assigned to a weaver's workshop and work on building out the weaver's workshop. That is an option. And then there's also the trading post down here. But if I recall correctly, we wanted to actually assign them over to the woodcutter's lodge. Like this. Now, we've still got more going on here. That's fine for now. Our generic storage is, of course, full here, and we may want to consider putting in another storehouse, which I am going to do. So for now, that is fine. Out over here in Waldbrind, our generic storage here is currently full. We would very much like to get some additional storage over here as well, I feel like. We can do that right there. So we'll get that going. And we can have one of those families go into that for sure. But I'm definitely thinking another farmhouse out over here is probably the way to go. And that means that we should build another stable somewhere. Perhaps here. That looks good. Okay. 
So that's all underway for now. Now over this direction, work area is currently empty for the forager hut. Yeah, that's understood. It's winter. There's nothing to forage. That's absolutely fine. The windmill is currently grinding away. That seems good. And we've got the flax and the barley here. Now, we are lacking a weaver's workshop here. And we probably should put one of those in. So a weaver's workshop is here. We could put that in here or perhaps here. I'm leaning towards here for right now. So we'll get that going. That seems fine. Yeah, stocks are damaged by weather in these locations. This is because our storehouses are full. We're working on it. That'll be fine. So we've currently got five months of food here, but we clearly need additional farming out in this area. So the question is, where do we want to build additional farmhouses, right? Or an additional farmhouse. We could put one here. Do we feel like we're good on burgages? Kinda? Kinda. Alternatively, we could just put it here. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. So we'll put that in there and get another farmhouse going there. By the time we come around to spring, we should have a fair amount of this construction completed. So that all looks good for now. So back up here, we know that what we need up this way is some additional storage. And we're going to have these houses built here. That's all fine. What was the plan behind those, though? I feel like we don't need more farmhouses. So I'm wondering what the idea was there. I don't actually know. Maybe a second trade post, though? That could definitely be a thing. Yeah, that could be a thing. A second trade post, like, right over here. Because we're clearly producing more than we're exporting. And this town is mostly designed for export. So I'm going to put in a trade post right down over here. That road patch was a little awkward for a moment there, but it's fine. We just finished up our hitching post here. And I want to get that upgraded to a small stable immediately. So let's get going on that. We clearly need additional export over here, though. There's no doubt about that. Now, down over this direction, we will eventually get some export going. We're waiting on family growth at this point. So let's head on forward a little bit. Royal tax has increased to 362. Okay. We're at 437 right now. That means we can afford to hire another retinue member, doesn't it? I believe so. So we're going to do that. We're at 387. Yes. Looks good. So another retinue member is, of course, very, very good. We have a long ways to go on our retinue members. No doubt about that. We also have a long ways to go on our recruits. So these archers are ready to rally. We don't have anybody down from down over here. We're not producing any weaponry here, and that's maybe fine. We might want to import the weaponry, in theory. Potentially. So, I'm currently leaning towards another archer militia down over here. So, that would mean that we would want to potentially import or have a Fletcher... We would need to have a burgage with a backyard, and actually, this has room for one here. So we could certainly put in a backyard here with a Fletcher's workshop. We would need the burgage plot to be upgraded to level 2, obviously. But I think mostly what we need here is church level. Fuel stall supply and clothing stall supply. Okay, fair enough. We're building a weaver's workshop right now. Woodcutter's Lodge, we can definitely put a family back into. We did have growth here. So that looks good for the moment. We have 10 months of fuel, and we don't have the fuel stall supply. Oh, probably because the firewood stall was abandoned. Probably. That's probably what's going on here. Okay, that seems relatively fine. So it is February right now. There's this burgage here that's got a vegetable garden. Okay. For a second, I thought that was empty, but no, it's a vegetable garden. Sounds good. And up over this way, there's a fair amount of additional work that needs to be done here. We've got three available families. What did we just import here? That was probably food, wasn't it? I don't think we need to further import food here. 
So we were importing meat, and I'm going to say no trade on meat. I think we're good on food here at this point, now that we've got the... Uh, now that we've got the fields online. Like, we can see here, we're going to get 134 wheat here, 118 wheat here. It should be okay. The communal oven should be baking away at this point, and indeed it is. So that looks, that looks very good. We should have no problem whatsoever. We've got all these chickens. We've got all of the vegetable gardens. We've got the foraging. We've got the hunting. The uh, hunting is currently on pause, waiting for the animals to reproduce. And the berries are currently on pause as well, because it's February. But that is reasonably fine. Okay, this forager hut here, it is upgraded. Okay, just wanted to check that. I'm going to assign a family to this forager hut. There's no one assigned there right now. This farmhouse... Why do we have two separate farmhouses? Okay, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. It's fine. We don't need additional families assigned here. I must have forgotten that I built this farmhouse. I'm actually going to demolish it. And we're going to move this family. That was very laggy. Okay, we're going to move this family up to here. There we go. So we know that that's a decent amount there. We have this forester's hut here, which is fine. This storehouse, we're going to want somebody operating. So that seems okay. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with what we've got going on up here for now. We're definitely going to continue to work on that. This is... I mean, all of these jobs are going to need to be put into this farmhouse. I'm going to put this onto highest construction priority, just so that we have it available, so that as these people move in, we can give them jobs. That'll be a very useful thing to be able to do. Now, down here, we're working on the wooden church, the weaver's workshop. It'll all be a little bit of work. Okay, that's fine. Things are kind of slow down here. We've only got, still, I think, the one ox. I think we only have one ox in here. So that is definitely a thing. We could import more oxen. We have four stable space at this moment. And that's maybe not the worst idea in the world, except that we don't have any wealth. So we need people here in the trading post working on exporting. Probably bread is what we're going to target exports. Like, this field grows so much. This field is also going to grow so much if, you know, it was actually plowed. We're going to continue to work on that as we get more families. Okay, I think we're pretty much ready at this point to exit the winter. So let's cruise forward here and wait for some construction to finish. That seems absolutely fine for right now. But yeah, we're, we're definitely going to be waiting a little bit here. So this small storehouse, ah, we have a new family moving in here. So do we want to put that into the farmhouse? We've got four additional burgages here. Yeah, I'm going to put eight into the farmhouse. I want to make sure that the farmhouse is working fairly optimally, and that will be fine. I don't think we need that second farmhouse, but this is okay. So a lot of our farmers are going to be idle for a while here. No doubt about that, but that's okay. They can, like, tend their gardens and whatever. Cool. So back over this direction. Ah, we just actually finished up a burgage plot up over here. That's fine but back over this direction i want this farmhouse to be finished as soon as possible looks like we've got the logs coming in so no problem there there's all the logs in and we're beginning to work on that okay so our tax was just paid now our concern of course is making the money for the next tax so that's going to be a thing no doubt about that Okay, so we just finished up this farmhouse over here. We're not going to put anybody in it just yet because we need families working on construction out over here. But that is fine. Not enough treasury for the annual royal tax. Yes, I know that. We just paid it. We've got a year. It'll be fine. <laughs> We're at 77 right now. We just went up by like 52. So it'll be okay. It'll be absolutely okay. We are going to build a manor over here eventually. We currently could put somebody into the trading post. And the idea here would be to trade bread 
we would probably want to export bread with the idea being that we would want to maintain a surplus of probably about 100 bread. We would also export berries, again, angling for a surplus of about 100 there. Okay, something along those lines. That'll be fine for now. That'll make us a decent amount of money here, for sure. But we're going to need to get these fields planted, right? It is currently March, and these guys should be heading over to plow or whatever. Okay, yeah, this ox is currently plowing this wheat field. Okay, that seems good. Now, over here, we've got a lot of plowing that needs to happen. And we are working on plowing by hand up over this way. We also have the oxen working on doing their plowing. So that seems absolutely fine for right now. This out over here all got fully planted, I think, with the exception of this field, which for whatever reason got ignored. It's not getting ignored this year. Okay. So up over here, we can see that these guys, these fields are fallow. This fully got planted. So no concerns there. But we definitely need to get this field planted as soon as possible. And I don't know why some people plow by hand and some don't. Over here, they're not plowing by hand because of the ox. I'm not sure why they're why they're doing that. But okay. I guess it's fine. Whatever. <laughs> so this ox is still hauling stuff around. That's okay. I really wish that they were plowing by hand here. That would be ideal. Because we want to get this field planted as soon as possible. At this rate, this is going to take a little bit. No doubt about that. So I wish that they were doing that. Yeah, that's their workplace right here. So threshing priority is medium. That's the livestock assi assignment there. There isn't an option here to tell them, plow the field by hand if you have nothing else to do. Okay. We just had a mining pit get d exhausted here. That's this clay mining pit. So the clay furnace here is still being worked on, but I'm going to demolish this clay mining pit. We're going to get rid of that. Now we've got a spare family, and I'm going to assign that spare family to probably the weaver's workshop for right now. Let's get that underway. Now the weaver's workshop, I don't think has access to do anything. I don't think we have any flax at this point. Yeah, we don't. This flax up over here will be harvested and will produce quite a lot of flax, so that will be okay. We don't have any wool over here. We've not set that up. So that is understood that the weaver is not actually going to do anything until this harvest comes in. But I do very much wish that these guys would uh, come help plow. Out over this way, we can see that this field has gotten fully plowed and is now planted. So that's good. But now we're doing the same thing here, where we're only having the oxen plow. We've got one ox in each field plowing away. But that's definitely a little awkward. I'm going to assign these two here, and we're going to upgrade a plowing station. That'll be fine. And just wondering here. Okay, these guys are actually off sowing out over here in this field. Understandable. Sewing does take priority. Okay. We got it 98% sewn. Presumably these two are going to come finish it. Uh, still 98% sewn. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure why they did that, but sure. I guess it's fine. So the storehouse up over here just finished, and we definitely want to get that upgraded. And I'm going to assign a family to this large storehouse once that gets upgraded. We've got this trading post that's going to be built here. But overall, I think we're in a pretty decent position out over in Nuslo. So that looks good. Do we have anyone assigned to forage out over here right now? We do. And I would like to add an herb garden, but we can't afford... Actually, we can afford it now. 
Looks like we've had some export. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's get that upgraded. That sounds good. So only the one ox over here doing the uh, plowing is definitely sad. I don't know why it does this. Sometimes they're willing to plow by hand, and sometimes they're not. And I'm not sure what the difference is. It might be they plow by hand if there's not an ox in the field. If there's an ox assigned to plowing the field, they don't plow by hand. I think that's what we are seeing, actually. I think that's what we're seeing. So in that case, four oxen over here should be a decent amount of oxen. Okay. That sounds fine. It's currently April, though, and we want to get these fields plowed a little faster than this, ideally. But we're going to have to get them plowed and sown. To be clear... This should be all relatively better. Now, I want to come down to our stable here and order an ox. And then we're going to do a permanent livestock assignment here. So we're going to get a second ox assigned to this farmhouse. Okay. So it's now May, and we'd really, really like to have these fields all plowed. One ox per field takes a while to plow the fields. No doubt about that. So I think I've figured out a bit how the uh, the plowing system works. And that does mean that there's going to be some issues with these designs going forward. I'll have to change around, in theory, how I want fields to work to accommodate the way that oxen work. It's weird. I, I don't necessarily like the way that oxen works with regard to plowing. But we're, we want to assign two additional families to this farmhouse. In fact, a third as well. So that'll be okay. We want to leave one on construction. But we're going to absolutely be swarming this field very soon. Because it is almost done being plowed. Just about done. It's apparently 88% done. 89% done. I'm not sure that's true, though. It looks almost done, except for maybe this corner, but the, the oxen is just going back and forth over here. Okay, whatever. We're getting close to done with plowing a number of these fields, is the takeaway. Okay, this field just finished its plowing. So we're out here sowing. Excellent. And the question is, where did that other ox go? Can there be multiple oxen per field? I'm not convinced that there can. Wow, the tax is now 408. It's insane. Okay. Yeah, I don't think there can be multiple oxen per field. So that's good. 935 regional wealth here. Not bad. And then up over here, 788. What is disconnected from the major trade route? This road? Or this trading post? Did this not get connected here? Oh, it didn't. Okay. Well, that's fine. We can just have it connect in down like this. And I guess we can also connect it over here like that. Cool. And we can then put in four people into this trading post. And it's already set to help out with these exports. What do we have for stable space? Okay, we can definitely order a horse. And we're going to do that. So that seems good. Over here in Waldbrand, things are going reasonably okay. These guys are heading up to sow this field at this point. It's quite late to get these fields sown, to be clear. So the plowing is definitely a bit of an issue. But the thing about oxen is oxen can start plowing much earlier than regular farmers can. Specifically, oxen start plowing the moment the harvest is complete, and they just get started on that. So that is certainly absolutely noted. I'm going to assign three families here. We're going to have more coming soon. So we've got 24 families on farming over here. 
with the idea being we need to be, be faster on getting these fields online, although they're going to be fallow this next year. So that is understood. This field is getting online. Although our wheat yield is not going to be great because it took us so long to get it plowed with just the one oxen. So that is definitely not ideal. We do have a second ox now, so that will hopefully help matters a little bit anyway. Fingers crossed on that one. But it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to continue to raise our regional wealth and get enough money for our royal tax and continue to replenish our retinue. That will be absolutely wonderful. We're also probably going to raise up a new militia down over here eventually, once we can get this burgage up to level two. We need food stall supplies and fuel stall supplies for that for now. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Atala, Andy Magar, Ali Lee, Dark Horse, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Tommy Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.